flash on the radio I want you to hear. Ladies and gentlemen, in Camden, New Jersey this morning, a gunman walked through the streets of the Kramer Hill neighborhood and shot and killed 13 people while wounding three others. Following what local police describe as a 20-minute rampage in an ensuing firefight with law officers, the suspect was taken into custody. No additional information about the victims or the shooter is available at this time. Oh, Marge, I can't imagine what that city and neighborhood are going through. How could this happen? Why did it happen? Who's the person responsible? I know, Elmer. This is 1949 in the United States of America. People are supposed to be safe on the streets and in shops, schools, and homes. I only hope that this is a one-time occurrence and that the nation can learn from this tragedy. I'm sure that we will, Marge. I think that most people in our nation believe that guns only belong on the battlefield or in the hands of law enforcement officials or sportsmen. I hope you're right, Elmer. Unfortunately, the optimism expressed by Elmer was not to be realized in the future. Since 1949, there have been over 180 mass shootings in the United States, and over 1,300 lives have been lost. It is estimated that there are over 400 million guns in the United States today. Indivisible Rocks Resistance presents a unique event in a brand new series. Moved by the two mass shootings in Colorado this spring, we have had enough of gun violence and little or no action. Have you? On Sunday, May 23rd at 6 p.m., we will present our first in the all-new Hope and Change series, SAFE, See, Act, Feel, Evolve, a gun safety action livecast. We named it SAFE because that's what we all want, those of us on all sides of the issue. We all want to be safe, to have safe communities, safe schools, safe gatherings, safe shopping, safe lives for ourselves and everyone in America. This event is not a fundraiser. We will not be campaigning for any candidate. Instead, we've invited folks to speak from a variety of perspectives, and we will suggest some resources for you to consider. Rock's production players and others have created unique mini movies for this event that focus on stories of how guns and underlying systemic violence are shaping our culture and how we can see, act, feel, and evolve to become more safe. We'll have poetry by Kaya Cockrell, live music by Colorado singer-songwriter Brandon Sipes, and much more. So please join us and all our special guests as we explore together how we, as a community and as individuals, can see, act, feel, and evolve to create a safe society. Until we see you there, please, everyone, be safe.